I've had these conversations on live TV and radio when I'm asked about decisions my bosses are going to make, and it's not your choice, right? I mean, you you are calling these games, but obviously it looks like Greg's out, and Tom Brady is going to be in, and um, Brady is Brady. There's no question about it. What what can you reveal about your your rehearsals? Have you you've done some games with Brady off air? Hey, we've so had a far. couple. Um, okay. You know, I mean, the bulk of the work is going to be now, right? Now that, you know, because it's kind of hard. I mean, as you know, Rich, like you're in the middle of the season, you're you're bouncing all over the place, all over the country. And so, um, you know, we've obviously talked and um, about different things and we've had a, we've had a couple rehearsals to kind of get going, which has been great. Um, and as you well know, because uh, I know I take a lot of pride in this, as I know you do, right? Because I do studio and play-by-play. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I love doing both. But I think the one thing that's the same is that you have to have the relationships for it to work. Now, I'm not saying you have to be best friends and best man in somebody's wedding for it to work, but you have to have a friendship, a relationship, a, a trust, all of that in both avenues. Otherwise, it just doesn't fly. Like, you know, when I'm doing the the MLB stuff with all of our guys, you know, I'm sitting with Hall of Fame legend players, yes. just like you are in game day, and, and they let me rip them and, and bust it. Who am I? But they don't, you know, but it's because there's a relationship there. And so the same thing when you're in the booth, it's just building the trust where, you know, uh, Greg knows that I'm going to do this for him. And then I know, you know, it, it's it's that back and forth. So I think of all the things we've had a couple of rehearsals, it's it's been fun. And now it's going to be about just spending time together and, you know, yeah, working on the crap, but also just getting to know, you know, I know Tom, the football player, mm-hmm. but getting to know what makes him tick off the field, I think is going to be important for well, us. Well, twist your arm, right? Tough. I, <laughs> listen, you know, like it's literally, it's, it's very, it's it, what everybody would want to do is you've got to spend time with Tom. It's Brady just like what I thought when I was like roaming the playground at Franklin <laughs> school in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Oh, you're going to hang out with like Tom Brady and Jeter. And like, yeah. I'm like, sure, that'll happen at some point. So it's, it doesn't make any sense, Rich, right. but I'll take it. You know? So uh, I, and again, um, I, 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 I set it up this way because I, I know if you're going to talk about Brady, this is nothing against Greg. You know what I'm saying? Like the, he's, phenomenal at this and has a humongous career at Fox or wherever he's going to call these games. So that's my long winded. Listen, setup Greg here. and I are as tight he's, as can be. I've known him forever. He's, so he's just a phenomenal human and whatever. Great. But d- like, what does Brady sound like calling a game? I mean, can you tell me what it, what it sounds yeah, like? I think, I think it's going to be fascinating because of obviously who he is and what he knows. Right. Um, so in the couple of rehearsals, and again, we're just like we're just like hitting the ground running. It's right. so, but I, he just had a couple of things that he said, and we're like, oh, that was really interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, that you know. So it's like the so I think the more we do it, and the more that he finds um, his voice, uh, and just start, you know, I, I think a lot of this, you know, when you work with all time great players, I think it's sometimes like the common stuff for them, they don't think it's interesting where maybe you and I are like, oh my gosh, that's so fascinating. Right? Like, right. I've been out to dinners like you have, and like, wait, wait, tell me, what do you mean by that? Yes. And, and it's so interesting. So it's almost making them realize like, that is awesome to everyone at home. Maybe to you it's common, but not to me. Or no anyone. question. Right? And, and, and you have to, and, and in your role is to tell somebody, you know, with seven Super Bowl rings and all these accomplishments, mm-hmm. what you think is just matter of fact is exactly the sort of stuff that you need to say. For sure. And you must say it. And you must say it with a certain, you know, energy as well, that it has to come across. And, and some some people can get it just like that, including you know, Greg, and uh, who's the, the the individual getting the Summerall Award on Thursday Night Romo, sure. where it just, you know, it turns on. And and I think, you know, just in terms of Tom's experiences, how many people can put on a microphone, go into a game, and have, and bring into the experience of being a sixth-round draft choice, being overlooked, having an opportunity placed directly in front of you and making the most of it, then going on a ride that nobody sees coming, then take that opportunity, turn it into three eight Super Bowls in four years, then have a 10-year drought of winning it, then becoming a 40-year-old and having the greatest career that many anybody's ever had, but you're also 40, and you're thinking about your own football mortality, and you're also switching teams. You become a free agent. I mean, all in one human being, 
that is an unbelievable wealth of experiences somebody can bring into the booth. It's a, it's a lot to draw from, and there's a lot to relate to. And I just, you know, I'm going to be interested to see how how he sees it in real time, because that's the one thing that we've never seen is okay, like you know, talk to him pregame, postgame, spend a lot of time and obviously production meetings with him. But how does he see it in real time as it's as it's happening? That's going to be fascinating. And being critical of stuff. Well, that's obviously a big part of it, right? That's obviously a big part of it. Like I said, it's been so interesting for me, you know, like this past year getting to know and work with Derek Jeter. It was the same thing. Like people, obviously, he's one of the biggest superstars on the planet. Mm -hmm. But Derek was so good in New York, as you know, about just, you know, not saying anything. Shutting it down. He, knew, he was perfect. He knew how to do it. And getting to know him uh, like I was fortunate enough to do and just the things that he would say and the stories that he would tell, I was like, tell me more. <laughs> tell me more. Sure. And it was just so, so it, it's that part is the coolest thing of what we do. Yeah. Like being, being coached by Belichick, being a, able to tell these stories. Uh, and it's, it's but your, that's the other thing is you, I'm sure you've experienced this too, is like everyone that I've ever worked with, you know, that I've been lucky enough to be next to in this job. Mm -hmm. They all want to be coached. So it's not like you would think like, oh my gosh, you don't want to step on toes, right? You're, uh, you're next to these all time great players, but they want to be told how to be better. They want to like help help me get better type thing, and that's to me like the coolest part is just, you know, they want the help, they want to get better. So tell me how to do it. I I, I love that. Well, and and then the way to help him get better is just to hang. Just let's hang out. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, rough. I know. You want to be in on this meeting, to hanging rough. with Tom Brady thing? <laughs> yeah, I'll just get Chris? coffee. I'll just get snacks, like whatever you need. Yeah, that's what he wants. Yeah. I've had my I've had my uh, coffee. He's yeah. a great coffee and snacks Fine, guy. Fine, because we're good. I've had my Boston friends being like, seriously, uh, Ortiz and now Brady. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you're killing me. I was like, <laughs> right. I didn't copy. Hey, right. He's a gem. They're all. It's great. Yeah, it's it's it'll be. It's been fun. Garnett. Who's next? Yes, who, who would be next? <laughs> Garnett. Right. Who's next? Get what do you got? That KG Pierce. Run. Who's next? Let's see. I, I don't know if I don't know if they're going to be on the Fox College basketball set. We don't have NBA, so it's, that might be tough. Not yet. You never know. <laughs> right. It's fair. Who the heck knows? In this day. Wow. Okay. Well, that's. Yeah. I mean, I'm 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 keen to to see what you guys you know look like and sound like and and. Um, and we'll get that week one, I imagine, right? Yeah, I guess we'll find out, Rich. You know, we, we uh, yeah, it'll be it'll we'll be week, week one. one. I, don't, I don't know like yeah. exactly what uh, it'll lead up till then, but you know, yeah, we'll we'll be in the lab for sure. Maybe it'll be in Brazil. Who knows? Maybe you get that game. Who has that game? Nobody I don't even know. It's just some, it's like that a, just got announced yesterday that it's going to be the Friday of kickoff. I weekend. saw that, but it, no one knows who has it. Nope. So <laughs> we just we go into a lottery wheel and like <laughs> ta-da. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. If you see uh, Murdoch strolling around Vegas, maybe you're going to get it. I have you know, no I idea. Think, uh, I don't think I'm going to see him strolling around. <laughs> at the nickel slots? That's, that's not the guy. Like, Rupert's at the nickel slots. Is, is, is that him over the blackjack table? I don't, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.